Hi everyone, if you're wondering how to make a credit sequence in UE5 without having to go into video ed editing software and you can actually have it in your experience or your game, whatever, uh, I was too, so uh, let me show you how to do that. So uh, currently I've got the finished version here, so what I'll do is I'll quickly remake it with you guys. Uh, so let's just get our, we, you have to pull out a, a bunch of vertical and horizontal boxes and basically just put them inside of each other. That's just how you do stuff uh, when you need a bit of structure in here. Horizontal boxes, I need one so far. Okay, so let's grab a text box, uh, just put it into the horizontal box. Sometimes I just find it easier to put them into the hierarchy on the side because it's just easier to fit them in. So let's just uh, 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 center align it and then we put to fill so it actually uses the space. And let's just put this, subscribe. Oh god, if I could spell this would be great. No, uh, definitely no uh, uh, hidden meaning there. Uh, uh, yeah, let's get another horizontal box for the layer below, the actual actual important layer. Now let's pop to, now we get the vertical boxes. Now I'm going to do it like this. You can have it as, you know, like a, a job title then a bunch of names underneath. You can do that. It's just different formatting with all the boxes. So let me get this boring stuff out of the way. Okay, so now that I've got uh, those two kind of done, one thing I'm going to do is add padding on the bottom of this. So let's say 20. So one thing that's done is it's separated them. And that's how you can kind of separate these out. So what I want to do is grab this vertical box, uh, click to fill so it uses the whole space. And then I'm going to right align it. And I'm going to pad it for, uh, let's just say 20 right. And then let's take this other one, uh, fill that as well. So now it's taking taking that. Now uh, let's left align it and let's pad it, uh, I think 20 for the left. Uh, and now they've got a nice little uh, separation there. So it doesn't look terrible. And uh, you've got your vertical tower bits now. And the now here's, here's the important bit. Uh, there's a, an actual function called uh, animations that I didn't know existed. Now, uh, it's usually just over here. So you click that, you open the window up. It will go if you click off it. Just click it and then dock it into the layout. And that's easy. It's literally exactly the same as sequencer. It's really, really easy. So let's just say scroll. And what we do is I'll grab vertical box. And now we click on scroll and then we'll just click to track it and it literally just chooses whatever you have actually se selected it'll give you there so you track it you go for transform because you want it to scroll up or down or whatever and now what i like to do is just go and open it up translation and you go for y because and now you just you just see what you what you want so if you want it to go down you go there if you want it to go up you you do that so let's just uh okay and now let's take it to the five mark we'll set a uh a marker there and we'll go back to zero and we'll go we'll like put it to zero and we'll uh reset the marker and then we'll what i'll do is i'll be a little cheeky close it up and i'll just copy and paste it for the other one it works so why not what we need to do is go onto the graph and we need to actually tell it when it first gets constructed to play the animation. So we get the animation from here. So scroll, get scroll, and then you just plug it into the play animation thing. If you don't have it, well, you won't have it out. You just type it out. It's it's really easy. Uh, you can set the loops and, you know, whatever is there. So let's go and try it out now. So let's go and it overrides the it goes over everything else so if you don't want to have like just a black background and you want to have you know stuff uh stuff around it what you need to do is you need to go here and you get the main box here and you go you scroll down to clipping and you just say clip to bounce and literally that's just everything in it if it goes out of bounds 
it is no longer visible. So let's play it again and uh, we'll have a look. Oopsie, there we go. And it now vanishes before it clips over anything else. Now, uh, that's very basic, but you can you can work on it. You can change how fast it moves and, and everything else and how it looks. But I, uh, I think that's all that's really holding you back from uh, creating your credit sequence. So I hope it's helped. Uh, like it if it has helped. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have a further question.